What's up guys? My name is Dawn Red and welcome to welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Uh picking up where we left off at last time that we played. Uh we finished I honestly don't remember none of their names, but we talked to a guy who wants to steal some tech. We have to meet two we have to meet one person and then steal the tech. Honestly I'm a little I can't really remember what happened, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. But uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment what you guys want to see first. And let's get back into the video. But first, what we're going to do, we're not going to start with that mission just yet. What we're going to do is start doing some of these side missions. Okay, the ones that are fully filled in or whatever, I'm guessing those are the... Uh, are the uh, main missions. So we're going to do this fight right quick. Let's go with me here. Yeah, see? Y'all the bouncers. Looking a little put out there, Input. Interest you in a preem BD? I don't know what that is. What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers. No washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come for it. I really know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch. It's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? I thought I was here to kill people. Uh, another time. You know what? Maybe another time. Sure thing, stud. Can I get in? I talked to the bouncer, so now what? Reconsidered, huh? Is that how I'm getting Spoke? in? Smoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog. Ask for a BD and get yourself a box. I really am I dumb? To you. Like I don't know. Mm -hmm. Am I am Doors I dumb? Am I dumb or do I not know what BD means? Welcome All right, to Johnny Five. Uh. What a sweet little face you have. I'm good, thank you. Alright. Wait, you're the person I've heard about. And I heard stuff about you. Wanted. Don't hey. Don't what? Get you something. Uh. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Okay. Now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. It's a little like she's listening. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Who? Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. Oh. No hesitation. Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. And biz booms to this day. Okay. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Name's mm. V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. We're gonna have to look around. I don't like. Do okay, she left and it's she's right staring at me. I was 
waiting for this one. Oh, so you're who I'm looking for. Where'd the other girl go? Oh, Lord. I. Hi. What? Evelyn Park. I'm not in a drinking mood. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why didn't you say nothing? That's what I want to ask. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Mm. What is that? What is that on the right of this? Okay. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl Nothing like me? Oh, dear. Alright. Oh, okay, I thought I turned that off. Well, on, so that wouldn't show anything, but apparently it, it didn't... Alright, whatever. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, mm -hmm. and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Mm. Could you not walk over Dex there? Is beneath you. Yeah. Have you known each other long? Uh, okay, I'm not trying to tell you, you too much. Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but... I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Why is everybody using that word like that? <laughs> Shit, buzz decks right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. I'll go with my gut for now. All right, let's, let's start business. Cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me... I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? No. I've never had the opportunity. You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal Ugh. with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? No. The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Uh. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. That, that's very vivid. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? 
Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. I do not. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Okay, so what do you got going on? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Spell it out for me. Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Are you sure? Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Okay. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. No. Uh, what else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the I'm gonna have to go back out of the main menu and fix that. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? Lonely? You have everything. Yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. Mm -hmm. It's a vulnerability I understand well. Mm. And one you plan to exploit fully. All okay. Right. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Okay. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No. Like they can be a very useful tool. I know. Good for analyzing details, uh, human right, perception, well. even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's sweet. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm hmm. BD rec implant. Why? You object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel?
we're talking. What is he watching? Okay.
drop the other person.
Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and the diamond. Hey, V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh, I thought as much. Someone there with you? <sighs> Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking it to your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my requests... now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick temp ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. I'm sorry, I just didn't know, like, if that choice of me not telling her who I'm with was going to affect his relationship with T-Bug. And if I was to tell her, that would affect how Evelyn and Judy would react to him. I don't know, I was thinking, I don't know, maybe I was overthinking it, maybe either choice wouldn't have mattered. Alright, eyes open. Oh, I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Uh, uh. You look like a cut of fuckable meat. Are you? Evelyn. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I was gonna make a joke, like a Scooby-Doo reference, where Fred was at Daphne's body. That just ruined it. Um. Okay. So let's rewind that. Sit off the ham valley. Uh, scan his phone. They'll have my head for this. Uh oh. I need a minute to finish. Here, guaranteed. Mm hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. I got lie, that was a little annoying to do. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. 
I'll wipe the cache on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Hmm. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, one sec. Well, don't worry. Won't do anything to get you in trouble. But, uh, I hope to see you again. Depends. On what? Whether you come alone or with a tag along, like a net runner. No runners. I promise. See ya. <laughs> Don't worry, babe. I'll be by myself. All right, what Let's you want? Walk. That's all we've been doing, just walking. That's all we've been doing. What you mean? Well, what do you think? About. You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorin Open. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Okay. I mean... So, what now? She's confident. V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Um. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Mm. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you a rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. I'll think about I it. I agree. There'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Alright. We're gonna 